They in the Tarasi. You the leader of these dinosaur people that don't want to have Caitlyn be the face of the WNBA. I don't know who, if not her, who the hell you want to be? You? Nobody wants to be you. <laughs> it hasn't worked. You've been in the WNBA for a very long time. It hasn't worked. It's not you. It's them. Let them shine. Hey, yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolate Plays. We're reacting to some more Kaylin Clark, man. But before we do, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the new subscribers, man. Everybody who's helping your bar grow. We growing as a community, man. You're becoming part of the Chocolate crew, and I love y'all for it. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, hit that notification button so you know when we drop videos. Look, we are going to get into this talk about Kayla because apparently somebody done pissed her off. Some, somebody done pissed her ass off. Giants. And it's the people who runs this Team USA basketball because Caitlin's coach said in tweets they were sharing to, to each other or in a text message that they shared with each other, she said that they woke a, a monster. Well, what the hell does that mean, Caitlin? What does that mean if they woke a, woke a monster? I wonder what the next text was back to her because the person like me, right? Like, this is how it sound with me. I'd have text my partner and be like, hey, yo, bro, they fucked up. They done woke a monster, bro. You feel me? And he'd take me back like, shit, I feel you, bro. Let's go get him. So I wonder what she said back to Caitlin. <laughs> she probably was like, oh, Julie, Julie, gosh, uh, please reconsider. <laughs> please reconsider. Don't do it, Caitlin. No, nah, Caitlin, go do it because if you needed any more fuel for your fire to push you through the rest of this WNBA season and beat they ass, this is it right here. You are about to have your Michael Jordan and I took it personal moment. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. This was about to have right there. Y'all about to witness the Kalen Clark version of the Michael Jordan. I done took it personal moment. Everybody finna feel the heat from this girl. Listen, you do not mess with people who are quiet. You don't mess with people who don't do things to anybody because that person is very dangerous. They're very dangerous at their craft. You poking the bear. You poking the bear. It's not like this girl is sorry. I told y'all she broke the men's and women's NCAA records for scoring. That was no easy feat. And watch what she finna go out there and do. All she need to do is feel comfortable playing. She didn't feel comfortable playing with her teammates, guys. She didn't. Look, she got knocked down last week, and none of her teammates came to come help her up. Boston walked over there to her. Nobody got up in Kennedy's face. There was no unity. But now that this team has some time together, because look, they have had no time to get to know each other. I told you, I came and played 45 games of NCAA basketball, then went straight into the WNBA draft, and then went straight into preseason, and then went straight into the games. They have had no time to sit in jail. They probably even know each other. They ain't had no time to go out and eat pizza with each other and talk about what girls or what boys they want to mess around with. It depends on what's their sexual preference. I don't know. You know what it is. But they ain't had no time to do stuff like that. They don't know each other. Because, uh, listen, if they cared about her, everybody would have came off the, off the sidelines. Nobody even came out of the sidelines. They, they feel the way that we think all those other girls feel about Kayla in the WNBA, that's how her teammates felt about her. But once they got to know her, because they, nobody knows her, yeah, that's what happens with people. When people don't know you and somebody paints this image of you, until they get to know you, they're going to see you however everybody else does. There is no reason to hate this woman. <laughs> Give me one. Give me a reason to hate her. Why can she talk shit? She ain't been saying nothing, but she going to say something now. I pray she go out there and start talking crazy to people out there. Get your, get your Larry Bird mentality. Larry Bird, if you can hear this. Everybody, hashtag, tweet. I don't know, at Larry Bird, all that shit. At Caitlyn, too, so they can get together. You can get with Larry Bird and get your talking shit game up. Because <laughs> you're going you to need it when you go out there. Oh, you're going to need it, Caitlyn. Because it's a different game now. You've had time to sit with your teammates. That's why y'all did so good. And y'all got rest. Y'all came out of a rest. Played against the Mystic. Did it, had a great game. You dropped, you dropped 30. You're about to do it again. You're about to go against a Suns team who's just come off of a loss right now to the Liberty. So here's your opportunity to strike. Strike at the Dragon. Like, them boys, the last time y'all played them, y'all only lost by four points. Kaden dropped 17 in that game. All she got to do is come out there mug shooting. 
They at home too. Kalen gonna go off. That's why I got the donkey, the donkey Kong shirt on, cause Kalen gonna be a donkey tonight. She gonna be a donkey. And if y'all boys, y'all gotta tap in with me, cause I'm, I'm gonna do a live stream of it again. It's gonna be my second one, man. Yeah, and this time y'all gonna be able to hear the game. I hope. <laughs> But y'all get be able to get to interact with me and, and see my reactions to the game, bro. Tune in when it comes on. I don't know exactly when it does. I think it's like, like 6 30 or 7, but I'll put it in a post after this. But it's gonna be another exciting game. I can't wait to see her get out there and do her damn thing. There's also a Dejanay character that I'm gonna be looking for. Dejanay. Dejanay. There's a Dejanay character out there. We're gonna we're gonna talk about her tonight too. <laughs> But they didn't fucked up, guys. They didn't messed up and pissed off somebody who you shouldn't piss off. A person she, Kaylin ain't been complaining about none of the stuff that we've been talking about. Her getting shoulder checked. She's like, you know what? It's just a part of the game. Everybody out there, you know, is in the heat of the moment. It's, it's, it's the game. She's not complaining. She ain't talking shit. She has no excuses for any other stuff. When she has a bad game, she puts it on herself. When she's in interviews right now, instead of her taking all of the questions, she deflects over to her teammates because she cares. This woman hasn't gotten a chance to show that she cares. And you're in a league with a bunch of other women. You know, women can get real petty and catty real quick. And they don't want to hear what you got to say. Because they feel like other people don't listen to them. <laughs> so you, your back is against the wall. But now, your teammates are there to lift you up. So now that she's gonna feel a little bit more comfortable, watch how she plays tonight. Walk my words, watch these videos. I told y'all in the last video what was gonna happen in, in the game against the Mystic. And you can't sit up there and say, oh, because the game was like that because the Mystic is the sorry team in, a, in the WNBA. They might be, but they are in close games in every game that they play in. They just can't get over the hump in the fourth quarter. Some, they just crumble in the fourth quarter, man. So, I mean, it is what it is, it's basketball. But they done did something. Right. And I had a question to ask. I had a question to ask. Somebody asked, if you want to put Kaylin on the team, who would you take off? Dana Tarasi. You see how fast I said that? Do you want to know why I said Dana Tarasi? I'm going to tell you why Dana Tarasi. Well, one reason, because Dana Tarasi is 67 years old. Dana Tarasi is 67 years old. She shouldn't be playing basketball anymore. She should be retired with Sue Bird and everybody else who was before her time. Those dinosaurs. You're a relic. You need to be trying to mentor people. And actually, no, you don't need to be trying to mentor people because the tough guy act that you had with Kaylin since she has been spoken about is, is nonsense and is uncalled for. <laughs> it's all on you because you're an emotional being. That's why. But Dennis Rossi, you should step down. Your ass is getting dominated in every stat category by Kaylin. Every stat category that there is, Kaitlyn is beating you at it. Every one of them. Let's let's go. Let's go look at Kaylin's uh, stat cut to be to be exact though. Kaylin right now is 14th. She is 14th in scoring in the WNBA. She's fifth in assist. Fifth place in assist in the entire WNBA. She is fourth, tied for fourth for three pointers made in the WNBA. She is 25th place in rebounds. She is a guard. She's six feet tall and she's 25th place in rebounds. She's 18th in steals. Every one of those categories, she's better than Dana Taurasi in. So as of right now, stats and numbers don't lie, she's better than Dana Taurasi. In every stat category there is, she's better than her. That's who you take off. Dana Taurasi has gold medals. What's one more gold medal going to prove? What, what's one more gold medal going to prove? Nobody's going to want to watch the game because Kate is not playing. Now you're going to make the, the ratings grow down for UCAA. I mean, you, UCAA, <laughs> USA basketball for women. You're going to make the ratings go down. People were excited to get ready to see her go out there and play. You know how many commercials they probably had lined up for Kaylin? You just ruined all that shit because of your ego and your pride. And now, with eight minutes into this thing, we're going to get into it. But the reason why everything is going on like it's going on in WNBA is because it's all women. All women, ladies and gentlemen, look, I told y'all, I love y'all. I love women. I respect y'all. Y'all the reason why we are here. Y'all are beautiful creatures. And y'all are all the most, most put down, ran down, dragged out, unheard, underdeserved people, persons who walk this earth. Y'all truly are. 
But it also don't mean that y'all can't be some of the most petty, jealous, <laughs> emotional people ever. And right now, the committee that did not want Caitlyn to play in the basketball game for USA, they're all women. All these are women. Everything is women-led. There's no testosterone in the building. There's nothing but emotions. There's no logical decisions. We have a bunch of irrational decision makers at the helm. All women. Listen, women. Y'all kept saying y'all wanted attention. You got it. Y'all kept saying that y'all wanted money to get these women paid. You got it. Y'all said y'all wanted planes to be able to get y'all to y'all games. You got it. You got all of it. But you don't like who brought it. You want it to be because of the WNBA, not because of one person. I get it. You want it to be like, no, the WNBA did this. We brought this. No, you didn't. And it's okay. It is okay. You guys need some logic. And there's no logic. There's yin and yang. They're trying to integrate women into men's sports as coaches. And nobody has a problem with it. I don't really have a problem with that. Why can't y'all do the same thing with men, integrate them into the women's sports? Some men in these committees. Because y'all need some people that are thinking logically. I don't care about none of y'all damn feelings. All y'all right now is really being really in y'all feelings, being emotional. Hell with your feelings right now, girls. We need to make some goddamn money for these kids. You know what I'm saying? Got. <laughs> we need to make some money for them. This is what they wanted, and this is how they get it. Do you understand what happens when you take Caitlyn out there to Paris and you plaster her all over this shit, these posters and everything? This is, this is the face of basketball and she goes out there and she dominates. Not only does she dominate, the people around her dominate because nobody was watching y'all. So now people are going to watch them play. I've seen so many text messages and people telling me straight up directly that they not going to watch just because she not, not playing. They really will boycott this. Look, Dana Tarasi, if you want to be the hero, step down. I don't even know why the hell y'all making this a storyline like this. I, what was so hard about putting her on the team to begin with? What was the reason why she wasn't? Why? Is it because she's a rookie? You can't give me that shit because Candace Parker and Dana Taurasi were rookies on the USA team. Why? Because she missed the practice that would determine who could make the team? Isn't this Brittany Griner's first game back? She hasn't played any basketball. So what are you guys talking about? Y'all just don't like her. You are a bunch of women who don't like the fact that it's not y'all as a whole, the WNBA. Nobody cared about y'all. Nobody wanted to watch y'all. They didn't. And now y'all still making some ignorant decisions based off of y'all damn feelings. When Logic says she is the best business move that y'all have. She's the best opportunity, the opportunity that y'all have to get everything that y'all been asking for. And y'all are blowing it. Y'all blowing that shit. What the hell is the matter with y'all? What is wrong? You know, I, I'm going I'm to end this thing with a story. Because this is how hate starts, right? This is, this is the origin of hate. Hate happens indirectly towards a person from other people. It's the praise that one person gets and the other person doesn't get that creates this, that it just manifests this monster inside of another person to hate you because they envy you because everybody likes you. All these people like Caitlyn. They like her. There's no reason not to like her. She, she actually is a good basketball player, so you can't hate on her because of that. So what's the problem? They just hating because it's not them, guys. Men do this shit all the time, especially black men. They always want to be first in some shit. That's why they don't help each other. Crabs in a motherfucking barrel, right? This is also this is a crabs in a barrel mentality with Caitlyn right now. They pulling her ass back down in there with them when she's trying to bring everybody out. Bitch, if you just hang on to my leg and, and come up with me, I'll bring all of us out. Don't drag me back down there with your stupid assholes. I'm trying to make it work. But now y'all done pissed her off. And she better take this shit out on everybody. Dana Tarasi, please, step down. Just step your ass down. And let Caitlyn step into that place. Let's step into that place. But here's a story on how hate like that begins. Because I had my experience with a hater when I was in elementary school, right? So my brother was really big on Michael Jordan. 
and he would get every pair of Michael Jordan shoes that came out. So I would get them too. I had I remember having the Jordans with the uh, the wings that went over the top and it had the twenty three on on the top of it. Y'all remember them? And the, the side was like teal and and purple. Y'all remember them them Jordans? So I remember wearing them to school and everybody's like, oh shit. Reese got the J's, he got the J's. Oh, that, that oh, it was clean and clean. And I remember old buddy, I don't want to say his name. <laughs> I remember old buddy just, like, you know, I could just feel him, feel him staring at me, right? And then the next day, he come with the J's. He came with, I was like, oh, shit, he got the J's. But listen, though, his family was poor. His family was poor, like Kenny poor from South Park. So I was like, how the hell did he get the J's? But I wasn't hating, though. I was like, how he get the J's? I'm just, I'm just saying in my head because I know they cost a lot of money. So somebody walk up on him and be like, yo, there ain't no Jordans. There's some XJ 900s. Everybody just, oh, pff, oh. look, if y'all know what XJ 900s are, right? <laughs> they like pro wings. Like pro wings and XJ 900s were my versions of y'all and ones and Shaq shoes. You know how like Shaq shoes look like Jordan? They got some like Jordan 4s. Go to Walmart. You'll see them. They look just like Jordan 4s. Well, that's what pro wings and XJ 900s was back in the day. Man, they start talking about my dude. They going in on him, right? I ain't paying no attention. And the whole entire time, I see him getting mad. When I look back, he, I see him getting mad, but he's staring at me. I ain't the one that's saying shit about you. It's them. When I tell you, this dude hated me, hated me for the next five years. Five years, this shit came all the way down to the high school. It ended in middle school. I had enough of this shit. But this asshole would do some of the most dickhead stuff. I remember coming to school with a picture. That I had, right? Because I wanted to get the X-Men video game. But when it first came out for the Sega Genesis, I'm showing everybody, like, I'm going to get that game. And I, when he get it, right, I see him and his face is tensing up. And he's like this. I'm like, what are you doing? He's trying to rip it. He was trying to rip it in half. That's what kind of guy he was. Look, I remember I got a pair of Sean Kemp basketball shoes. I'm aging myself right now. <laughs> I'm telling y'all how old I am. I had a pair of Sean Kemp basketball shoes. And this asshole walks up to me. We all having a conversation. He steps on the front of my damn shoe and starts turning his foot. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? I had had enough. <laughs> and I just still off on his ass. This is what has to happen, Caitlin. You have to still off on somebody to prove yourself. No, you don't. You got, don't do it. <laughs> I had my moment. I was starting to go there. I was starting to go there. Kaylee, don't hit nobody. Don't hit nobody. Show them with your game. Every time you bust a three, get in their face. Talk your talk. And I need your teammates to back you up on this. Dana Tarasi, you the leader of these dinosaur people that don't want to have Kaylee be the face of the WNBA. I don't know who, if not her, who the hell you want to be? You? Nobody wants to be you. It hasn't worked. You've been in the WNBA for a very long time. It hasn't worked. It's not you. It's them. Let them shine. Michael Jordan would be proud. Go talk to Michael Jordan. That's what happened to Michael Jordan. They didn't like Michael Jordan. None of them did. Michael Jordan had to go get in the weight room, get big, extra strong, come out there, dominating. He made people like him because he, he loved basketball. That's what he was. He's basketball. That's what Kaylin is. She's basketball. Go have your Michael Jordan moment, Kaylin. I can't wait to see it. We all waiting to see it. I'm, I'm doing a live stream tonight, guys. Video got this thing. We're 17 minutes in. Thank y'all for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate y'all. But I told y'all, the, the, what I believe is, it's a committee of all women that need some men in there. Same thing with men. Men need women to come into their foes, too. It's a yin and yang situation. And if it's all women, we're going to keep on having these problems. Y'all take care. Peace. Oh, hit the subscribe button, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. They not like us, they not like us, they not like us.